Okay, welcome all of you. So, I saw a video on YouTube about ammonium permanganate. So, I decided to make some ammonium permanganate because it's very easy to make and just for no reason, I tried that. So, for this experiment, we need two chemicals. Those are potassium permanganate and ammonium chloride. Chemicals, we need to make ammonium permanganate. Here I have taken about 8 grams of potassium permanganate and 20 grams of ammonium chloride. Then I quickly dissolve the solutions, both of the compounds in about uh, 50 milliliters of distilled water and this uh, dissolving ammonium chloride and potassium permanganate is an endothermic reaction so I decide to uh, warm the solution a little bit and it uh, helped me to dissolve compounds quickly so now I am going to mix these two solutions together and keep this reaction mixture in a freezer for about 24 hours after 24 hours of cooling in a freezer now you can see here this is our reaction mixture I think there are some ammonium permanganate crystals uh, in the uh, beaker so and also you can see here the solution is still a uh, very dark purple color because there are a uh, lot of remaining permanganate in the solution I am not going to worry about the yield so anyway now I am going to filter this solution and uh, get ammonium permanganate crystals After filtering the product, now you can see here, this is our final product, needle-like ammonium permanganate crystal. Now it's time to test our product. Okay, now I have here a preheated hot plate. Now I am going to place some few crystals uh, on the hot plate. Then you can see here, quick decomposition of ammonium permanganate. It quickly decomposes because uh, ammonium permanganate is not very stable compound. The black trails are manganese dioxide. After doing the reaction, here I have left with highly concentrated permanganate solution. To deal with this solution, I have to make this permanganate less toxic to environment because permanganate uh, solutions are uh, very toxic to aquatic life. So here I have a clear solution in this one liter beaker that is a hydrogen peroxide solution. Uh, and I acidified this solution by adding few milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Now I am going to add this permanganate solution to this acidic hydrogen peroxide solution and that will convert this permanganate to less toxic Mn2+. 